So yeah, I love one. So today I'm going to do my first Q&A of 2024. And one thing I should mention is that, for those of you who don't know, this video was originally supposed to come out last month in April, but unfortunately I wasn't able to make it then. So I'm making it now in May, but hey, you know what they say, better late than never. So yes, open our chat. So open our chat. Like I said, I forget to mention that. So yes, open our chat. Also, another thing I should mention before we get on to the questions is that, like I said, for those of you who don't know, every four months I like to make a QA. and a and that means that the next time I'll make a QA and a is in, well, is in April, not, not April, but August and December. There we go. Like, that's what I meant to say. So, yes, I'm putting our So, pretty much, like I said, I like to make a QA and a every four months, like I mentioned, but pretty much, like I said, every year, I like to make three Q&As. So, yes, I'm putting our chair. And also, one final thing I'll mention is that this is the only time I'll make a QA and a in May. So, yes, I'm putting our chair. And last but not least, the final two things I'll mention for now, before we get on to the questions, is first thing is, is that I'm sorry for repeating myself a bit, like I said, I tend to do that sometimes, and Pernarchia, yeah. and the other thing is that, I'm sorry for any background noise if you haven't heard any, but anyways, Pernarchia, yeah. so, now without further ado, let's get on to the questions, shall we? So I have all the questions here, and we have seven, well, Pernarchia, seven people asked me questions, so, Pernarchia, yeah. so, without further ado, let's get started with them, shall we? So the first person we'll be answering questions from is Saul, and his first question is, what is your favorite time of the season? Now this one in particular, like I Sorry about that. Anyways, like I was saying, this question in particular, like I said, I have a couple answers for, but like I said, the main answer I have for this question is my personal favorite season has to be season 20, since if I remember correctly, that's the first season that the miniature engines were actually in the show, even though technically the miniature engines were first brought into the show in Soldier's Legend of the Last Treasure, but for now, it's like I said, for like actual seasons of the show, like I said, I'm pretty sure it was season 20, so yes, open up, yeah. So yeah, so pretty much, yeah. So once again, sorry about that. But also, if you notice my mustache, like I said, it looks a little bit, it looks a little bit off in this. But pretty much, yeah. But I figured I'd mention that. Anyways, back to what I was saying. For well, pretty much back to what I was saying about seasons. Like I said, that's pretty much why I like season twenty. Since for those of you who don't know, I'm a big fan of the I'm a big fan of the miniature engines. Since if you can tell by my channel name and if you can tell by my picture, like I said, I'm a big fan of Bert. Since like I said, pretty much like I said. What I'm trying to say is that I don't see well, pretty much I don't see a lot of people talking about the miniature engines, and pretty much yeah. Actually, I think I might have, but I can't remember exactly. But pretty much yeah. But you get what I mean. So yeah, so pretty much yeah. That's what I mean. And pretty much yeah, like I said. And also, I'm pretty sure like I'm pretty, like was it season twenty that Bradford was introduced? Actually, I think it was. So yeah, so that's another reason I like season twenty is because well, Bradford is one of my personal favorite characters from that season, and pretty much yeah. Once again, I'm sorry if you can hear the TV in the background, but for now, yeah. So, that's pretty much, well, pretty much that's my question. Well, pretty much that's my answer for the first one. His next question he asked is, what is your favorite, what is your favorite Thomas and Friends magazine, magazine characters? That's one in particular, like I said, I will well, pretty much, the, well, pretty much the answer I have for this one is 13. Now, for those of you who don't know, the character 13 only appeared in the magazines, if I remember correctly. So, like I said, 13 is one of those characters that I really like, since... Like I say, he has a really cool design, in my opinion. And then the other character I like from the magazine stories is, I'm pretty sure, except for what her name was, I'm pretty sure it's Bluebird or something. Like I said, I'm sorry about that, I can't really remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So yes, open on yeah. And last but not least, his third and final question he has is, well, yes, is, what is your favorite, what was your favorite mid or railway location? Okay, now this one in particular, I'm not really sure about, since, well, as much as, I, like I said, as much as I love Thomas, I don't really keep track with locations that much, but like I said, I'm pretty sure if I had to pick one, I would have to say where all the sheds and stuff, since that's pretty much the only place I can think of off the top of my head for the mid sword or so yes, we'll pretty much, yeah. So, hope you guys understand about that, but like I said, so yes, we'll pretty much, yeah. Let's move on, shall we? Anyways, moving on. The next question we have is from Colin the Tramp Fanatic, and his only question is, what are your most favorite Thomas Friends episodes? Now, for those that don't know, a while back, I made it. I made an entire video about my top ten favorite Thomas episodes, and pretty much like I said. And since it's been a while since I made one of those, I, Alex, I'm not sure if I'll go back and redo that one or if I'll make another one. I'll think, Alex. I'll think about it, but we'll see. But anyways, like I said, but one thing I should mention is that off the top of my head, I can't really remember what what the episodes were. But actually, I remember a couple of them, and if I remember correctly, my personal favorite top five back then and. I think, and I think even to this day now, they're still probably my favorite episodes. 
but we'll see. But like I said, since I know over time, I started to like more episodes, but you get what I mean. So yes, I'll point out to you. So like I said, if I remember correctly, these are the, well, these are the top five favorite episodes I liked. Them being Emily's New Coaches, Peace and Quiet, Thomas and the Jet Engine, Young Bow and the Tiger, and Tit for Tat. So yes, I'll point out to you. So I'm pretty sure that's the order I had them in for my top five. But I'll have to go back and check that. We have a printer chat, so printer has my answer for that one. Anyways, this next question comes from Blake White, and his question is, "What is your favorite Wiggles video? What is your favorite Wiggles video or DVD?" Now I actually don't have an answer for this one since I don't really keep track with the Wiggles since I actually haven't watched the Wiggles since I was a kid. But like I said, but since I don't, but since I don't watch Wiggles, like I said, like I'm pretty sure the last time I watched it was like when I was a kid or younger, I should say. But for now, yeah, but since, well, since I really don't have an answer for this one, like, since I really don't have a favorite, well, Wiggles video or DVD, like I said, well, actually, I'm pretty sure this counts as a video, so, my, per my personal favorite Wiggles video has to be the Where's Jeff song, since Where's Jeff is a really good song, in my opinion, by the Wiggles, and yeah, that's pretty much the only Wiggles song I remember, so, yeah, so pretty much, yeah, so I, I don't know if that counts, but you get what I mean. Anyways, moving on, this next question comes from Andrew McGritt, and his last question is, what are your least favorite Thomas episodes? Now this one I actually don't have an I pretty much this one I actually don't have an answer for either. Since like I said, since I'm not like I said, since out of all the Thomas episodes, I actually can't think of one that I actually don't like since in my opinion there's a lot of good episodes out there. And I get what and I get what people are coming from, where if well, people don't like a certain episode, like I said, I get like I, said, I get what they're coming from, since like I said, since that's it like I said, what I'm trying to say is that that's their opinion about episodes, but in my opinion, I don't really have a least favorite episode, so we're not here, so I'm sorry about that, but like I said, I can't really answer this one, so that's yeah, so we're not here, so I forget I mentioned that. Anyways, moving on, this next question comes from Gabe, the NWR77, and his question is, what is your favorite World War II fighter slash bomber? Now this one in particular, I actually don't have an answer for either, since I don't really keep track with history things, since, like I said, I mean, I like history, don't get me wrong, like I said, history is pretty cool, in my opinion, but I don't really keep track with history that much, like I said, so, once again, I really don't have an answer for this one, so, I'm sorry about that, like I said, so yes, we'll put our chair. Anyways, these next questions, like I said, these next questions come from, like I said, let me read, let me read it here, okay, there we go, like I said, these next questions come from Saddle Tank, the NWR64 engine, and his first question is, do you plan on getting some Ertl Thomas Marines? Let's, do I put, like some, do you plan on, on getting some Earl Thomas Burns characters? So yeah, so there we go. Like I'm sorry if I'm getting my words mixed up there, but but no, it's like to answer this question. Like I actually do plan on getting some more Earl characters. Since for those of you who don't know, I actually already do have some Earl characters, but I don't use them that much. But for now, yeah. But what I'm trying to say is that, like I said, the openers, the Earl characters I have are Thomas, James, Toby. I'm pretty sure it's either Donald, Donald or Douglas. I can't remember which one of the twins I have. But I also have Oliver, Daisy, Toad, and Harold. So those are the eight Earl characters I have. But for those of you who don't know, when I was younger, I actually did have some other Earls. But it was only three of them at the time. The first three Earls I ever had were James and two troublesome trucks. So yes, I'll put in our chair. But unfortunately, the, well, unfortunately, those three, they broke and I don't have them anymore. Which well, is which sad, since like I said, I would like to have them still. But unfortunately, even though I don't have those guys anymore, I still have the other Ertles I have, so pretty much, yeah. But of course, I do plan to get more Ertle characters, since, like I said, there's some other Ertle items I want to say about getting, but unfortunately, like I said, I haven't been able to get them, but maybe someday, hopefully, I'll be able to get them. So, yeah, so pretty much, yeah. Anyways, moving on. His last, like I said, the last question he asked is, do you, do I like, or do you like, FNAF VR Help Wanted? Now, to be honest, I actually haven't played this game, since even though I like Five Nights at Freddy's, I actually haven't played any of the VR games, or Help Wanted, well, for not VR help wanted, like I said, since I'm not able to play it, since I don't know, I don't know where you could play it on actually, but for not yeah, but you know what I mean, so yes, open not yeah. Anyways, last but not least, the final questions for today comes from Toto Branku Toto. Once again, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, but for not yeah, but I figured I mentioned that, so yes, open not yeah. So let's get started with this question, shall we? This first question is. Least favorite, least favorite song from each season of this of the model series. Of the model series. Now this one in particular, I also don't have an answer for either, since just like with episodes, there's not really any songs I don't like. Since like I said, pretty much like I said, even though I listen to a lot of the songs from model series, there's not really a song I don't really like. Like I said, since 
a lot of the songs I really enjoy, so that's why I'm in, so I'm sorry if I don't have an answer for this one either, and once again, I'm sorry if I'm really, I'm sorry if I really don't have an answer for some of these questions, but pretty much, yeah, so hope you guys understand about that. Anyways, moving on, his next question is, thoughts on sort of Fallout? Now, this one in particular, actually, like I said, I have mixed feelings about sort of Fallout, since at first when, at first when I first heard about sort of Fallout, I wasn't really a fan of it, but over time, I like, I, like I said, it sort of grew on me, and like I said, it grew on me so much that I announced a couple projects about it, and that's when I announced my movie, and I actually managed to succeed with that movie, so, like I said, I'm, to be honest, I'm still impressed that I actually managed to get that done, since that's my first hour-long movie, was my sort of fallout movie, which I'm honestly impressed about, so yeah, so I'm putting out, yeah, but of course, that wouldn't have been possible without, like I said, the help of all my friends, and all the voice actors that were, were in the movie, so I just want to say thank you all so much for that, but pretty much, yeah, but over time, since a lot, not a lot of people have talked about sort of Fallout, like some, well, since there's a lot of people out there that, like some, that started, like, or since sort of Fallout started to die, to, to, well, what I'm trying to say is that it started to die down a bit, like some, I get where people are coming from, too, about, like some, them not liking sort of Fallout as much anymore, and I gotta say, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much the same way, that's pretty much what I'm trying to say, is that, even though sort of Fallout has like sort of become like a dead thing in the Thomas fandom, I still plan to make one more sort of Fallout project, and that is my other movie. And pretty much like in any other sort of fallout, any other sort of Fallout project I had, I'm think I still think about what I want to do with them if I want to still make them or what I want to do. Since if sort of Fallout is pretty much dead in the Thomas fandom, then I'm not sure what I want to do with it. But you get what I mean. So pretty much that's all I have to say about sort of Fallout. Say so pretty much yeah. So pretty much that's my thoughts on it. I should say. Anyways, moving on. His next question is, have you heard, have you heard about the T, have you heard of the t hit, the hit writer's Bible? If so, what are you, if so, thoughts, like I said, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm getting my words mixed up once again, but like I said, but what I'm trying to say is that, like I said, I have heard of, I heard, like I said, I've heard about the hit, the hit writer's Bible since, I remember I heard about it recently in one of the Unlucky Tugs recent videos, and I gotta say, my thoughts on it is, well, it's pretty interesting, like I said, there was one thing I will say, is that I don't like the way that they did, like, certain characters in the model series. Like, like I said, I'm, I really don't like the way that they did some of the model, like, in the model series, how some of the characters' personalities, since, like I said, yeah, yeah, like I said, the unlucky tug, like, talked about this a lot in his video, but, like I said, I get why, like I said, I get why people don't like the, well, the, the later hit series that much, or the hit seasons that much, since, like I said, since a lot of the characters, in my opinion, like I said, they were out of character, like I said, and pretty much, yeah, so. That's pretty much all to say about that, so, so I'll pronounce your accent, so, that's all I want to say about that, so yeah, so I'll pronounce your, moving on, sorry about that, but anyways, like I was saying, his next question is, favorite crash from each, from each hit season of, the, of Thomas, now, this one I also don't have an answer for either, since, like I said, in my opinion, there's a lot of cool crashes out there, but, like I said, I really don't have one that, like I said, that, I gotta give me a second, let me read this one more time, okay, that's sorry about that, like I said, but, like I said, from each a crash from each season, I don't really have an answer for since like I said since well pretty much like there's there's a lot of cool crashes out there, which hold on, like I said, let me read this one more time. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that's open yeah. So once again I really don't have an answer for this one either. But if I had to pick one, I would say it would be like said where Henry the one with Henry's tender and Pernarchia. Yeah. So yeah, so Pernarchia. Yeah. That's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head since like I said I really like it because of the memes that people made about it, but Pernarchia. Yeah. But Bernard, yeah. And also since it was in the Unlucky Tugs video too. So yeah, so Bernard, yeah. Anyways, moving on. His next question like his next question is What was the first Thomas what was the first Thomas episode I saw or you saw? So yeah, so Bernard, yeah. The first Thomas episode I actually ever saw is actually I can't remember since like I remember I've been a fan of Thomas for a long time, ever since once again, ever since I was younger. But since it's open or since that's the case, I can't really remember the first episode I actually watched. But pretty much, yeah. So I'm sorry about that if I can't answer this one either. But pretty much, yeah. Moving on. His next question is, what was the, what was your first Thomas toy? Now, just like with the episodes one, I actually can't remember my first Thomas toy I actually had since pretty much, yeah. Since I can't really remember since like since since I like, since since of course that was years ago, and since of course since I'm older now, I can't really remember much from well when I was a kid. So yeah, so pretty much, yeah. So I'm sorry about that. Anyways, yeah. Last but not least, his final question is favorite Diesel character. I know this one is one. Like I said, well, this one's pretty easy. And like I said, for those, like I said, for those of you who know me, like I said, my personal favorite Diesel character has to be Boko. Since Boko, he's really like he's one of those characters that 
like some that people talk about, but nobody really talks about him that much. And like I, said, I gotta say, like I, said, I really like Boko since he's one of those cool characters in my opinion. Like, you know what I'm saying? And of course, I wish that they would have done more with him in the show. But like I said, but either way, like I said, that's pretty much what I have to say. So yeah, so yeah, like I said, let me just make sure. So yeah, so pretty much yeah. And yeah, like I said, those, like I said, those are all the questions. So with that, that's pretty much all the questions for this video. So before in this video, I'll say the, like I said, I'll say these things one more time, and that is. First thing is, is that, I'm sorry if I'm getting my words mixed up, and second thing is, is that, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, so yeah, so for now, yeah, so, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and for now, yeah, so, like I said, I forgot to mention that, so yeah, so for now, yeah. Sorry about that, I had to pause it again, and also, by the way, I'm sorry for, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I had to pause the video a couple times, I figured I mentioned that, so yeah, so for now, yeah, so once again, like I mentioned before, the next Q&A I make will be in, oh, in August, so yeah, so for now, yeah, so, stay tuned for that, but for now, yeah. So with that, that's pretty much all I'm saying. Thanks for watching, and bye everyone. Bye.